Hey Pittsburgh, how you doing? Josh Miller here. Welcome to another episode of A Day in a Life. Today we're hanging out with Dave Hansen. Dave Hansen from Slapshot, as you know him and as I knew him, but I know him now as a different guy. He also had a career in professional hockey and does so much more for the game itself. Stay tuned for another episode of A Day in a Life. Hi, right, this is Dave Hansen. I'm here to play some old time hockey like Eddie Shore, Tope Lake, and Dick Clapper with my buddy Josh Miller. Josh! I want to hear welcome you to a day in my life. Dave, how you doing? I'm great. You don't know me. I'm off the street. I'm a dad. I have a kid this big. I want him to learn the game of hockey. I heard about this place. Why should I come here? Well, first off, we'll kick you out and we'll keep the kid. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good move. <laughs> because you're gonna have you're gonna have a great experience. You know, right. th this facility, you know, beautiful facility, spacious, uh, and the, the key to to wanting to have your child here are the people that we have here. Mm -hmm. I've got the, I've got the best in the Greater Pittsburgh area, and, and I will certainly argue, you know, the best in in, in most of the United States here that'll that'll do whatever you want with your kid if it's whether it's playing hockey. Uh, figure skating, mm -hmm. uh, curling, I mean, you know, any golf, uh, you know, whatever you want to do with this kid, we can take him and uh, make him as good as he wants to be and have a good time. Now, if my it. wife is going to be doing most of the driving, is there a place for her to come here and eat and hang out? Yeah, she can go over into the bistro and sit and watch a soap opera and, uh, and get, you know, her favorite uh, French fries or, you know, if she's into... In the Snicker bars, I mean, you know, we, we sell Snickers. Right. Well, let's take a look at this place. I'd love to check it out. I see you have a pro shop. Yeah. You have wonderful, friendly staff. Yeah. That greets you with a smile, I'm sure. Yeah. Although she's not here to greet anybody, but uh, yeah. But no. they're there. Yeah. And a college place here, which I think is the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I mean, we got a men's and women's college playing at the Division One level. Uh, so you got players from all over the all over the United States and Canada coming here to play in a in one of the top programs in collegiate hockey. So and it's a beautiful facility and they do a great job. Uh, our men are actually moving on to uh, they won their their uh, conference this year and moving on into the playoffs. So uh, some pretty good stuff going on. You know I'm going to go out on a limb and don't you hate? And I already know the answer. Everyone gets a trophy. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. I understand it's wonderful and I applaud the idea of it, but in life that's not accurate. When you no. were growing up, you had to win yeah. or, and get a trophy. Yeah, you know, if you're going to be in the spelling bee and you want to give everybody a trophy, that's one thing. But right. if you're going to be in sports, then yeah, you got to have a winner and a loser. I, I, I couldn't agree more. So how yeah. many sheets of ice are here? Well, we got two sheets that are year round. Uh, you know, we're, we're the only facility in, in, in Western Pennsylvania, I think, that has an Olympic size uh, ice sheet, mm -hmm. sheet of ice, uh, which is 200 by 100 feet. And then we have the traditional North American size, which is 200 by 85 feet. Then we got two rinks uh, we call in our open air rink. Uh, we have one that is ice seasonally, mm -hmm. and the other one is in line year round. And then, we'll, then when we take the ice out on the one, we'll put in line in there. So. So we got a lot of a uh, lot of skating, whether it's inline skating or, or ice skating, going on here uh, all year long. But a lot of tournaments are held here. Like yep. I always see, there's a ton of traffic here, and it's always ran clean. It's organized, and I'm I'm still blown away. I mean, if you wanted to, if you were that crazy dad, and you wanted to take your kid out of school at one o'clock, you could find a sheet of ice here. Yeah, and yeah. find someone to instruct him here, which. I'm guilty of doing that once in a while. It's like a treat. Well, that's a unique thing too. Again, us versus anybody else in this area is that we got a staff of those people. They're, they're I actually employ them full time that are here for the sole purpose mm -hmm. of, you know, Marianne Watkins teaching your kid how to hockey, how to play. Hockey, a lot of people you know, home teach. Skate. I yeah. mean, so a lot of people home teach. That's not as crazy as people think. I oh, mean, no. in today's day, home teach and. and and yeah. putting your kid in at home and learning and then spending six hours on the ice, that's yeah. not crazy. I mean, we've even had Kies, uh, Kiesel bringing his uh, kid down here. I see big Brent down here oh, with, his, no. with his kid skating <laughs> out there. I mean, I don't, we won't let him on the ice, no, but God, uh, let no. his kids yeah. out there. <laughs> oh my God, like Chara. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Chara with about uh, more hundred, about a hundred pounds more uh, on the body, uh, and about three, four more inches. <laughs> yeah, right. My goodness. <laughs> but yeah, we got uh, we got skated. I mean, we got figure skating going on right now, being taught here. Uh, you know, at twelve twelve thirty in the afternoon. Uh, Marianne Watkins is a prime example of of what we did from the beginning. What the, what the vision was and the mission was here, which was to take a beautiful facility. Mm -hmm and make sure that we staff it with the kind of people that are gonna make a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. you know, and Marianne is one of those rare, unique personalities and abilities that does that. And we're very fortunate to have been able to pull her, pull her here. And, uh, and to your point, she's she, not only in National League, but she goes over to Europe and teaches over there and, and just continues to have not only the skill to teach, uh, to show people what they need to do, but that that unique opportunity or personality that really translate into to a person being able to do that and relate to it and make a difference in that person's game and that person then recognizing and, and at you know at young kids level too recognizing that hey yeah if I do it this way that really makes a difference in my game so you know we're able to get her on able to get people on you know even at at the amateur lowest amateur level than the the real beginners by a guy by the name of uh, Bob Arturo who was a native of of uh, the Pittsburgh area, but he was in Chicago at the time and pulled him back for, for his great ability to teach at the beginning levels and just, you know, he's a six-year-old man that still has the energy of a teenager right. uh, every time he meets a kid and makes an impact on their lives. And uh, Valena, uh, Elena Valova, who was a three-time uh, Olympic gold medalist and two-time world champion from Russia, mm. uh, able to pull her in here to to uh, to be a part of our figure skating uh, program, and you know Beth Sutton, who is a former ice capade uh, uh, showgirl, and uh, uh, here is our director, and, and Jim Sicker in our golf dome. You know, you talk about just ice, but we you know one of the best teaching pros and PGA. Um, member uh, in our golf dome and sports dome over there so you know those uh, just touching base on a couple of things so you know they were kind of the foundation of where we started from it to this day because of what they do you know people continue to come here uh, for those things and, and just grow up move up the ladder and have a good time and and do uh, and do a, a good job and enjoy what they do here you're watching a day in the life with josh miller we'll be right back a day in the life is brought to you by UPMC, life-changing medicine. Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You've tried the rest, now try the best. Rivertown Brewing, delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Athlete Originals, original apparel designs by athletes for their fans. We'll be right back. Wrecking's part of our sport. Crashing and hitting things is just gonna happen to you. The first time that I got injured, I tried to hide it. I tried to push through. Four weeks later, I'd been injured again, back to back. The best decision I made was to go to UPMC. We went through all these activities that had results that made sense, and things got better. Holy cow, man, we just won the 500. I didn't choose to be in a 25 car pileup, but I did choose UPMC. Despite years of tradition and a legendary family recipe, One question still remains. You know, mom's been making the sauce all day. Gravy. Sauce. Gravy. Ma! Ma. What? It's Bon Jovi! This ain't your mom's sauce. It's my dad's. Bon Jovi brand pasta sauces. Pasta sauces that rock. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Halikahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice-cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. Nemecolon Woodlands, a luxury getaway with a welcome twist. To make your reservation, visit nemecolon.com and expect the unexpected. 
Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. So I have to ask you this question. I mean, I'm used to it now, clearly. My little guy's been playing, but what is the deal with hockey smell? It's the worst smell in yeah. all sport. You know, I don't know why that has happened because I even have, you know, my equipment from when I was younger and it doesn't smell anything like that. <laughs> and, and I don't know what it is, but to, to your point, yeah, you go, you walk down our locker room hallway here mm -hmm. at any given time and mm -hmm. it is a stink that you, you'd probably rather be sprayed by a skunk. Right, yeah. but it's funny because it's amazing what you get used to. It's yeah. like the house that lives next to a train track. You invite a friend over, you're like, what the hell's that? Like, what's what? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's nothing. Yeah. I and mean, that's what the, where the smell is now. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you can put, but you can throw it in the trunk of your car and sit in the front seat and drive down the highway and you'll still smell it. Right, yeah. exactly right. <laughs> so this is pretty cool right here. This is, like you said, at 1240. Yeah. Yeah, you got a couple uh, professional figure skaters out here working on their thing, and then we got a little, you know, beginner here pushing the skate aid around with mom or grandma. It looks like so it's, this stuff is always going on here. So it's a fun. It's a place that we people say, "What do you do there?" And we tell them we sell fun. Mm -hmm. you know, well, we provide fun. There's no doubt. This is very cool. And I know the roller blade or the roller hockey side is also another thing that goes yeah. on all year round. Yeah. That's around the corner. Yeah, you think it's a seasonal sport that people, it's something people play in the summertime. Deck hockey, what's the proper terminology for this so I can... Uh, we call it roller hockey. I mean, there's a roller hockey and then there's deck hockey. The deck Decks hockey without is, skates, without yeah. anything. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're on the low end of the total ball, aren't they? Well, well, they are and they aren't. I mean, it's it's a extremely popular sport. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, every, anybody and everybody can do it. We got the USA deck hockey championships coming here this summer so okay. we've got yeah so we got teams coming from italy uh the caribbean if you can believe that and you know germany uh to mexico and no everywhere kidding. in between here so it'll be a, a fun thing and then we got uh we, in a couple of weeks we've got the adult figure skating championship and synchronized skating championships mm -hmm. so, you know and here you got people that are you know your age up to uh, up to the golden years are going to be in that kind of thing. So it's, it's a lot of unique, different kinds of things going on here, which is a kind of neat thing about this place. You know, I want to ask you, the Olympics. Um, obviously, Aruzioni and the boys and what they did in '80 that was great. But do you like the fact that kids are? Do you want? Do you like it when it was kids, college kids, and kind of no names, or do you like that professionally? Now it's the best of the best representing the country. I'm. Uh... I'm a diehard. I, I like the amateur kids. Yeah. You know, the pros reach a, a pedestal and have an experience you know, that is all its own. Why not allow the amateurs to be able to do that? Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, there's some pretty darn good kids that are still amateur hockey players. I mean, I can understand the reason why you know, when you're playing against the Red Army team, you know, mm -hmm that uh, train 11 months out of the year and it's a profession and have to go against them. But, you know, is there anything more exciting to have than what happened in 1980 when, you know, Agreed. the underdogs, literally the underdogs clobbered the giants. Uh, you can't, you can't duplicate that. So why not allow that to continue to happen, give people those opportunities? I agree with you. Yeah. I, I, same thing in basketball. I hate it. Sure. I hate that all the professional guys that are worth $80 million. Yeah. There's something missing in that hunger, that Yep. I'm a big fan of the underdog. Yeah. How many days a week do you spend here? <sighs> Obviously, like you're not traveling. Else, right? I mean, some days you got it's seven days a week, and some days you can cut it. Like you know, last week I was here four days a week, but now I'm going to be here through the whole weekend because. And yours? How old's your son? He'll be 29 in uh, March, this month. A couple days. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You a granddad yet? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And I got a little five-year-old <laughs> that's a skater too. So right on. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are Jason, he's he's gonna be okay. Does he? Huh? He's a skater. She. She. Uh oh. Yeah, but I can't break her out of figure skate yet. I'm trying my darndest. <laughs> Toe pick. Yeah. Oh uh, no. She's, I keep saying, don't you want to be a hockey player like Uncle? Nah, I'm gonna figure skate for a while. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's good. This is it. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty neat. This is where uh, you know all the Division One teams play, and most of our hockey's played here. Uh, but this place, the neat thing about it is we'll, we can sit probably a thousand people in here, and 
It may not seem like a lot, but the hockey players love it because people are so close to the ice surface and create such energy, and, mm -hmm. and this place gets rocking, and it's a fun place to watch hockey because you're close to it. Now, for that small half percent that watches this show that knows about ice, what kind of ice do you have? Uh, frozen. <laughs> Is it? So, okay, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Is it good ice, bad ice? You hear guys talking about, oh, it's the hard yeah. ice, oh, it's soft, and this is not good. No, we, we uh, of course, we like to think that we got the best ice in Pittsburgh, but every other rink will probably say the same thing. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's a, a primary product for us, and, you know, a sheet of ice is, uh, a good sheet of ice doesn't just happen. It, it takes a lot of work at it. It takes a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've got uh, everything else that uh, every other rink has as far as a refrigeration plant, but then it's all the little extras like, uh, the uh, what we call a jet ice system, which deionizes the, the water and takes out molecules and particles mm -hmm. and things like that, that helps it freeze faster, cleaner, uh, quicker, um, and then just you know the, our 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 ice maintenance crew are, are uh, trained to do the things necessary to make this ice uh, the best ice possible. People don't understand that. I mean, it's like a golf course, right? I mean, it's oh, how, sure. how are your greens? Yeah. Well, you, the greenskeeper and the crew there, that, that we got them from so-and-so, and they know their stuff, and you can tell right away if yeah. they know their stuff. So obviously, you have the best ice in town. Well, it looks it's, it. It's an exact science, and, and if you don't have it, you know, you got, certainly you got the, the college players that uh, will tell you about it, you know, and, uh, and the figure skaters, you know, and it's, and you actually do need, uh, especially with the quality of players and skaters that we have here, you need to make sure that you're preparing that surface the way they want it because a figure skating ice surface is a little bit different than a hockey player surface. And, and so we uh, have to do those kind of things to make sure that uh, they're happy. And, those and figure skaters can chew ice up. Yeah, they do those wonderful toe picks. You know, uh -huh. It's like landmines out there that, uh, of course, hockey players hate. Taking the ice after them too. Yeah. You have to wait for them, and then you take yeah. the ice, and there's these craters. Yeah, but you know, us hockey so players will call that the necessary evils of, uh, of this business. So and, I got one more question. This is unreal. This is one of those questions where I'd be driving home and be, God, I didn't ask him that. What are your thoughts on all the winter classics, all the outside hockey? Is it too much? Is it too? Yeah. Is it is it too much? Of a I good think thing? it's too much. I think I think when it first came out, it was such a unique idea, and it was so cool to have it one game, kind of like the Super Bowl in a sense. Yeah. Know, to have it on that one day a year. Uh, but you know, again, that's where I go back to maybe some of the comments uh, we talked about earlier is that you know business has almost gotten too much into the game where it's ruined aspects of the game, and mm -hmm. that's an example of it. Uh, I, I, st I think I, st I still think that outdoor classic school, but it's too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it like I mean? See, I get caught up in the in, in, in the just the, the possibility of it snowing, the possibility of the yeah. snow coming down. I know you guys probably hate it, but it's like you know, I like to think it's a throwback. Oh, I grew up on the ponds, and this yeah. is what it was like. And yeah, the ice is chippy, but you know, it's chippy for both sides. I like watching you know the hat over the, yeah. the helmet. I mean, no, I, the players love it. Mm -hmm. You know because. Most of those kids grow up, started out somehow in a pond or, or skated outdoors. And to do it at a professional level um, in that kind of atmosphere, you know, again, you go back to uh, what was the first one in Buffalo when Buffalo and the Penguins played, right. and it was snowing. Mm -hmm. you know, those guys, uh, you, you talk to any of those guys, and they had a blast. It was the whole atmosphere of it. And then you see them so in cool. California, and you see the yeah. ice there, and you're like, ah, that looks yeah. wrong. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like seeing, yeah. I was going to say something. That you'd have to erase, but yeah, I, but yeah, yeah, enough. Is, yeah. You say yeah, we understand. We understand. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're watching a day in the life with Josh Miller. We'll be right back. A day in the life is brought to you by UPMC Life Changing Medicine, Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You've tried the rest. Now try the best. River Town Brewing, delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Athlete Originals, original apparel designs by athletes for their fans. We'll be right back. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Halikahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour.
Semicolon Woodlands, a luxury getaway with a welcome twist. To make your reservation, visit nemacolon.com and expect the unexpected. Morgan! 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 She's on Squeaky! She is? Ooh! Why social networking when you can be social networking? It all includes an online solution. Buy, sell, socialize, monetize, search. Squeaky.com. You got to be a little off anyway, I think, to be a catcher. Got hit with a couple foul balls to the head and didn't really think anything of it. Uh, felt a little foggy, couldn't eat. The anger came really quick. When I'd go to swing, the ball would kind of disappear. My wife said, if, if you don't tell the doctors, I'm going to. They sent me to UPMC. He looked at me and said, you got a pretty good concussion. Gave me a plan, like a rehab for your brain, just to come from that to catch the last out of the series. I didn't choose to get those concussions, but I did choose UPMC. Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. So this is immaculate. When you, when you see kids coming on, can you walk by? I know you're a great uh, eye of talent. Can you walk by and say, hmm, there's a little kid who's got it? Can you see it early? How, how young can you see it? Because I, I, yeah. I don't want to push parents away from losing their mind the way they have been. But you know you can go by and make, you know what? Okay. That kid maybe has something there. What's that age? Yeah, you can. Well, you it? can see that, and you can see it at you can see it at at five if they've got mm -hmm. a you know a natural ability to skate, uh, or you know at six or seven they 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 got soft hands or handling the puck. They got their head up while everybody else is they're in that mad pack like soccer, and right. they're just falling the puck. And there's around. one kid that just flips one, the ice real quick yeah, with a D to D pass. Around, yeah, Whoa. but that's where you're hoping that y y you have a parent there that. Uh, as they continue to be part of our programs, you know, one of the people that our coaches are able to do, Mary Ann's a prime example, that she can recognize if a parent's kind of gone overboard. And mm. she has that ability because she's such a great communicator to, to t pull that parent aside and say, you know what, maybe it's time to take a little break and go let them play some baseball for a while. Get away from the rink. He's on uh, the right track. Yeah, it's just, yeah don't burn yeah. him out, you know. I mean, he's got to develop some other... Some coordination skills and, and loosen the groins up because if you play just hockey, you're going to end up with tight hip flexors. Whereas, you know, get to get over and play some soccer or some you're baseball. Get all the way around. Yeah, you know, develop other muscles that are important. It's and funny. I have. I, I tell the same thing. I, I, you know, I'll watch a dad. And he'll tell me, "Oh, you got to see my son play." I'm like, "You wouldn't play with his football." I'm like, yeah. "Football, tackle football." I'm like, "How old is he? He's nine. What position is a guard? Oh, a guard. Yeah. So you're telling me you're going to hammer this poor kid? You're gonna make him a guard at yeah, nine. nine. <laughs> yeah, I lose right. my mind. I mean, go play flag yeah. football at least till you're 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Be an athlete because you're five six. Chances are he'll be five eight. He's not gonna be a guard, but let him be an athlete. Yeah, let him run exactly. around, play soccer, play hockey. Which, by the way, I mean, I'm I'm from my son's eyes. I I, I showed you we have a rink in our backyard. Yeah. I never played. I played hockey growing up on the ponds, like you spoke of. Until that the ice, the, until the puck went to the thin part, and everyone's yeah, like, hey, right. "All right, let's get the hell out of yeah, here. Let's go do something else." Puck, yeah. So, and I never had. And I went to a couple games. I mean, this is great. Couldn't watch it on TV because I wasn't mature enough to know the game. My little guy comes here to Pittsburgh. I take him to the steel locker room. Guys are in the locker room playing with him. That doesn't want anything to do with it. Take him to a hockey game. Loses his mind. Yeah. It was the first sport where I was able to wake up at five o'clock because I hear. It. I'm like, what the hell is that? I look out the window, there he is against the garage. That's I'm like, great. honey, we have a hockey player. Yeah. This is the only thing that he'll wake up at the, at the crack of dawn for. And it's been that way ever since. And then I grew into the game, loved the game. This is the greatest game. Yeah. It really is on so many levels. I mean, even, even just the kids that are playing it professionally. And, and it's, I look at all the baseball players, football players, hockey players, but the kids growing up, parents are crazy in all the sports, but the, a hockey kid is a pretty good yeah. kid yeah. for yeah. the most part. Well, the culture that they grow up in is, you know, it's, it's got such a historic um, past to it that, you know, the culture, you know, that most organizations have kids come up when they walk up through it, you know, they learn, you know, hey, you got to wear a coat and tie when you mm -hmm. come to the games. You, know, you got to show some respect to people. It's a referee out there. Do you agree with the referee? No. But you don't yell at them. Go put your head down, go in the penny box. So there's a culture there that, 
that they grow up in, and, and it's, a, it's a great sport for a lot of aspects, and that's, you know, that's one of them. Is there a better athlete than a hockey player? I mean, you think of what he does on a night in, night out. He's on ice, and, and I know people can't get over the fact they're on ice, but there comes a time where it's like walking in sneakers. You don't even think anymore. But the stuff that they do night in, night out, how demanding that is, I can't imagine playing a football game three times a week. Yeah. I can't imagine any... I, I, I'm blown away by what they can do on the ice and how fast and how quick the game is in decision making. So when you see a guy and you hear guys, oh, well, the game's too fast, he didn't know what he was doing, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's like slow motion yeah. when you play at that speed. It's yeah. a NASCAR guy going 80. Yeah. No, he's used to 180. No, again, you know, an educated eye can see the things that a Crosby does. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you appreciate just how unique it is and how many aspects of that game to be the greatest player in the world that you got to do better than everybody else on, again, keep in mind, on a confined space out there with a lot of big guys, so there's not a whole lot of room to be moving around out there, you know, and, and guys at high speed and, and pucks at high speed, and the game is, you know, the game is that quick. Yeah. Um, you know, to be able to see players do what they do out there is, is truly amazing. You know, the, you know, the athletes, the, the hockey players have become better athletes now than they were back then. I mean, sure. and they're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, they shoot harder. Um, they do a lot of neat things, so that's you know the amazing part of that game is that the ability to do that in a split second, second to make decisions, to do things that, that are oftentimes unbelievable to watch if you got the eye to watch it. Any rule changes that you'd like to see? Any rule changes? Yeah, anything that you'd be like, all right, you know what, it's about time for this. Uh, yeah, I'd get rid of the uh, trapezoid behind a net. And I think that's, that's really stupid. <laughs> You know, if a goalie's going out and play the puck, he should be like any other player. That's on them. Yeah. It's him. like a punter trying to run the ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. So I think I'd start with that one. Dave, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. It's been a, it's just an absolute pleasure getting to know well, you. Likewise. Thank you so much. All right, my pleasure. Well, Pittsburgh, that was another episode of A Day in the Life. I want to thank Dave Hansen for taking the time, walking us around, and showing us what he's been into. Thank RMU for letting us do this in their own backyard. What a great complex. If I was a little hockey player, this is where I want to learn the game. Stay tuned for future episodes of A Day in the Life.